Hey guys, welcome back. So this is my little fleshy guy. Um, I've added the red and the dark blue lines in there to kind of simulate some veins and arteries and stuff like that. And then I went back and I added a little bit more toilet paper mixture onto the body to give it a little bit more contour, add a little bit of a nose here. Um, and now I'm going to paint it the rest of the way to finish this off. Okay, so it's going to go up on the neck here a little bit like that. Okay, and I'm going to leave some of the skull showing. After I do that, then I'm going to look around, make sure I don't see no more white anywhere. So I don't want any white showing. Okay, so now there he is. And what I did with the other one is I turned around and I added a little bit of red and black together. Okay, so now I've got like this like purple mixture with the red and black and I just kind of dry brush it a little bit. That way it goes up and on here. And again, I'm just trying to dry brush it, but it's a little hard with this because it's still a little wet, but just to get a little bit of red in it. But it's also just a little bit of the black mixed in with it. And it gives a little bit more coloring to that pink that's not so pinky. All right, and then once that dried, which... I'm going to go ahead and do it without it being dry. I'm going to go ahead and take some blue and I'm going to take some black and I'm going to mix them together. And if you hear my son talking, I'm sorry about that. Um, apparently, Anne Arundel County has decided that everybody needs to e-learn. Um, so he is home, which means the house is not quiet. So I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of blue up in here.
there's little fleshy dude. Hopefully you like this guy and um, tell me what you think in the comments below. If you think he looks realistic or if you think I should have did something different or something to make him look more realistic. If you have any thoughts or ideas, I'd love to hear them as this is the first time that I have ever done anything like this. But if you're going to build a haunted house, then you need to have haunted people in there. I think I'm gonna paint his eyes black. He needs more contour. Okay, so I think he looks better with the darker eyes. It kind of makes him stand out a little bit more. Um, I guess you could take some clay and um, totally put some clay in there and make one eyeball hanging out with some goo or something. I don't know, maybe that'll be for the next guy. I got like three more of these guys drying. Be a dead guy laying around. Who knows? It could be anything really. But he definitely looks fleshy to me. That's just my opinion. And I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I did put a couple pieces of hair straggling out of his head. So you can compare what you think looks better or more realistic. Okay. So here's what he looks like in the graveyard. Here's the graveyard. If you guys want to learn how to make this graveyard, go on my website. There's a template for each one of these tombstones and stuff and um, the technique and how to do everything here, even the Grim Reaper and how to pose these really cool skeletons. I may have to go along and redo some of these skeletons to look like a little fleshy back there. And if you want to see how I made this fence, um, like and subscribe and you'll find it in the tutorials when I post it. Yeah. There you go. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video. And hopefully my son will be quiet in the next video so you don't have to hear him in the background. Thanks again. See you next time.